Hello everyone. My name is Vikas Ramesh Sharma and I'm the area general manager for Courtyard Surat and Courtyard Vadodara. I follow Ricky Chadha as an astro healer on YouTube. Thank you. Hello friends. This is Ricky Chadha from Astro Healer channel. Venus, the planet of romance, artistic ability, designing, film film industry, anything to do with showmanship as we all know it's into it a retrogression motion and in this while it is retrograding it will enter tomorrow 30th of december into the sign of sagittarius from capricorn venus shall remain combust from 6th of january to the 11th of january and finally on the 29th of january venus will become direct in sagittarius and move ahead on the 27th of february it will re-enter into the sign of capricorn now in the sign of sagittarius which is a sign of uh, spirituality expansion magnification higher studies vision foreign collaboration and so on this is the same sign where venus is getting retrograde now if that is the case then what is going to be the impact on each lagna or each moon rashi let us understand that the first rashi uh, or the moon or uh, the lagna sorry is aries so friends for the uh, the lagna aries venus happens to be the lord of your second house and the seventh house and shall be in sagittarius which is the ninth house and will be aspecting the third house now with this uh, thing in mind i see that professionally it's a very good period for you people at your workplace will appreciate your skill ability concepts ideas and you will put these ideas into action and your seniors will definitely praise you for the same see all your goals all your targets that you have set or people have given you a target maybe the company has given you target you will definitely achieve this target also in the timeline personally your colleagues friends mentors elderly people at home will uh, have a very good opinion about you they will treat you quite well during this period if you are involved into some research based work this transit is going to bring good result for you students are likely to get a very steady uh, progress in their academics also if you are preparing for a competitive examination good period for you the next sign is taurus for taurus first of all the lord of your first and the sixth house is transiting into the eighth house sixth into the eighth itself causes a vipreet yoga vipreet uh, you can say rajyog <clears throat> eighth house is a house of transformation crisis or crisis management and sudden events or sudden gains and losses in life from the eighth house venus is looking at your second house now keeping this in mind i see that you may face some emotional struggle during this period so it is not a very good time to get into any argument with your partner life partner business partner or whatever it is personally it's a great time to come closer to your spouse talk your heart out and have a good uh, you know consort with your partner professionally i see a new job offer coming to you or maybe you are getting some you are already working somewhere and the second source of income maybe even part time may come for for you you may also get interested in some mystical science or spirituality or some different subject 
you may also have an inclination towards learning new things and your creativity skills are developing and that too is going to enhance your knowledge also next sign is gemini for gemini the ruler of your fifth house and the 12th house so it's a fifth house and the 12th house is transiting into the seventh house from seventh house it is looking at the first house with this i see that you have to put some extra efforts or i would say sincere uh, efforts to keep your position your dignity your respect your name fame intact you may feel that people around you your loved ones your dear ones are not uh, are not gelling quite well with you don't get disturbed argument should be um, avoided at this time and try to maintain a very cordial relation with your loved ones see the seventh house is of your spouse it's about marriage it's about cordial relationship with your spouse so i see new beginning in relation uh, relationship is happening for you which is a good sign but for that you will have to revise few of your decisions regarding relationship so you have to introspect for some time and then go forward if you are into business and you have business partner uh seventh house also indicates that uh some concern regarding the partners also would be there so you will have to get closer and more cordial with your business partner as well next sign is the sign of cancer see for cancer sign the ruler of your fourth house and the 11th house fourth house is domestic happiness 11th house is fulfillment of de fulfillment of desire is into the sixth house of enemies debts loans and so on obstacles and hurdles also are seen from this house it is aspecting the 12th house so for cancer people cancer lagna i would say you should be keep yourself be aware keep yourself updated you should the period is you know when you should always take help guidance advice of your close ones because your competitors are trying to harm you six houses there please remember that i would also advise you to remain calm compose poise this period also is bringing some new opportunities also most of the uh, people who are into the job of uh, communication or you are into communication sector uh, or when you, if you are involved into some uh, research logical analysis good time it's a good period to get into some research uh, if you are involved with uh, some health programs or if you are a dietitian or something like that this is a period for you but at the same time you yourself also require some health program for yourself you have to take care of your health as well see all these challenges i'm talking about can be corrected if you can just do a little bit of physical exercise and get involved into some physical activity next sign is leo now for leo the ruler of your third house and the 10th house is transiting into your fifth house Fifth house is all about romance, love, intellect, in, uh, intelligence, and so on. Children, and it is aspecting the eleventh house. Now, this will bring very auspicious result for you. So it's a good sign for uh, people with Leo as the lagna or Moon Rashi. You will have ample of opportunities coming your way, especially if you are into some creative work. maybe a new project or uh, in that project you will be able to showcase or exhibit your own skills and talent 
this is also a time to analyze what exactly you need in your love life please understand that fifth house is playing a role over here an opportunity will uh, will come your way to work with your children or maybe with some youth and you will participate into some social activities also uh professionally uh, i see professionally and personally personal uh, life also uh you are going to progress quite uh, swiftly i would say this period all will also uh, is giving you an opportunity to raise your standard of living it's giving you good name fame in society you can expect financial gains during this period and investment which has been done in the past will now get get you good results next sign is virgo for virgo the uh, the uh, venus is ruling your second and the ninth house it is transiting from the fourth house now second house is family family values ninth is your fortune mentor preacher foreign travel also is transiting in the fourth house which is the house of domestic happiness property vehicle and so on it's also comfort luxuries it is aspecting the 10th house now i see that you are coming close to your colleagues and senior official they would be supportive also and they will cooperate you in any and every situation your efforts that you have put in up till now you are getting recognition and rewards for the same you must stay calm and avoid uh, being too rigid and too stubborn talk softly with people have cordial relationship and strengthen try to strengthen your relationship with uh, with people around you financially you are likely to gain from investments which were done in the in your in the past if you are into some business or business dealing then maybe uh, you are going to uh, like you know get some favorable result you may sign some good de deals uh, if you are given a quotation your quotation is getting approved so it's a, it's a very good uh, period for you next sign is libra for libra the lord of your lagna ascendant itself is getting into the third house right now third house is a house of communication courage valor sibling and it is the lord of the first and it is also the lord of the eighth house please remember that now we have to understand that this venus is also from the third looking at the ninth house of religious activities of fortune and luck now because eighth house is playing a role eighth house is always will try to create some obstacles in your personal and your professional life whatever task you take in your hand you will of course it will you will accomplish it okay only if you put a lot of efforts into it maybe there is an increase in your responsibility uh, at home as well as at your workplace you may get a chance to go for a short uh, travel a short trip or maybe a short course training especially if you are involved with mass media communication electronics technology writing and such things you will have to put lot of work uh, of you have to work on your communication skills editing writing jobs also can come up for you content writing writing also is possible i see that uh, you will be very uh, social during this period and you will closely interact with uh, your network circle it's a very good time to if you want to expand your network networking also Uh, or working with some groups next sign is a sign of scorpio now scorpio the lord of your seventh house uh 
I see that it is in the second house. Seventh in the second house. It's also the Lord of your twelfth house. From second, it is aspecting the eighth house. Now try to understand this. Seventh house is playing a role. Twelfth house is playing a role. Second house is playing a role and eighth house. Yes, I would say it's a good period to start any new venture because it is into the second house. So maybe a new venture could be with some family member and family, your extended family, some people will help you to develop a new business. You are also likely uh, like, you know, to get support from your uh, siblings. You are getting good emotional as well as financial security from your close people. You will establish relationship with others and you will enhance your finances during this period. Health wise, yes, 8th house is there. So I would say take care of your health also and your spouse health. Also try to spend some quality time with your spouse. Because then what will happen, it will provide him or her with the strength to cope up into the, uh, during this period. The next sign is a sign of Sagittarius. Now Sagittarius, the lord of your 6th house and your 11th house is transiting into the 1st uh, house, Lagana itself. And it is aspecting the 7th house. During this period, I see very auspicious result for you. For Sagittarius Lagana, Sagittarius Moon Rashi. This also indicates your personal life is going to change, especially regarding, uh, you know, you will have serious discussion with your family members. And there is a possibility that during the discussion, some decisions will be taken to maybe do something with property, real estate. I see that you will have an inclination or you will have an interest in dealing with property, selling, buying. So if you are into real estate, it's a good time for you. Unexpected gains I can see <clears throat> because remember, 11th house is playing a role. Unexpected gains from investment in the past also can give you some dividends now. These, these benefits and these gains that are coming to you will help you to increase your confidence which was lying very low for a long time. And then whatever you are getting as a which you invested, you are getting the dividend, you will reinvest for your future but play very cleverly the next sign is Capricorn so for Capricorn I see that Venus is ruling your 5th house and the 10th house and it is transiting in the 12th house from 12th house it is aspecting the 6th house yes good period to settle your disputes and if you have some competitors uh, then maybe you can talk on the table and things will materialize. There would be many, many, many uh, movements which will bring joy and you will have, you will live your life to the fullest and there would be a lot of spending also of money, but there's money also coming in. Also, this period I also see uh, multiple opportunity to earn income, various business proposals are coming to you. I would advise you to take decision only after properly weighing the pros and the cons of the situation. See, personally speaking, Venus is the karka of your spouse, right? And it is in the 12th house. So it is not very good for married people. 
because your spouse may suffer some health issues. Therefore, you have to be extra cautious about that. The next sign is Aquarius. For Aquarius, the Lord of your fourth house and your ninth house. Fourth, fourth house is domestic happiness. Ninth house is of fortune. Keep this in mind. And it is in the eleventh house. Lovely, I would say. From eleventh house, it is looking uh, at your fifth house. Luck is favoring you. Very vibrant uh, period for you. You, with your hard work, are you going to achieve all that you desire for? Financially, your income is increasing. You should try to maximize your efforts so that you bring in more uh, income and you will perform quite well at, at your workplace. Excellent time to express your ideas also in front of your seniors and uh, take them into your stride, take them into your favor. Personally, your parents and your spouse will be the source of happiness. So happiness is coming from the fourth house it's coming from the seventh house, your spouse, and so do not forget to include them also into your happiness. Health-wise, you will remain fit, healthy during this period, but do exercise. Involve yourself into some physical activities. The last last sign is the sign of Pisces. For Pisces, the Lord of your third house. And the 8th house is into the 10th house. 10th house is your own sign. Okay, 10th house is about career, name, fame, your workplace. And it is aspecting the 4th house also. For Pisces, professionally you are going to get mixed results. Vibrant uh, opportunities to perform. If you make wise choices or you pick up an opportunity it will prove to be very good for you depending on your performance yes you will have a little bit of uh, distress during this period uh, as your goodwill at the workplace will keep you overloaded with work you have to put some extra efforts <clears throat> to meet your targets and your deadlines in personal life, there are chances of that you may get involved into some arguments. Therefore, keep yourself a little away from arguments because then you may spoil the relationship with people around you. Health-wise, yes, mental fatigue or stress can uh, be a little trouble for you. I would advise you yoga, meditation during this transit period. This is all about Venus coming into the sign of Sagittarius and the effect on different Laganas and different Rashis. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell icon and please like this video, share this video with your friends, colleagues. Thank you so much. Take care.